quick video here um, <clears throat> before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video. I uh, just want to do a quick update. Um, you guys probably noticed in the last video there's uh, some glitchiness and stuff. Um, I'm working with a new program. I'm trying out a couple different editing programs and uh, along with that there's going to be a learning curve. So. The quality of some of the videos in the next little bit might go down a, uh, a little bit. I'm working on learning some new things, trialing some uh, software, and try and see what software is going to work best for, for me. So hang tight. I apologize. Uh, I will do my best to try and edit them the best I can uh, so that you guys are getting good quality content. Anyway. With that being said, um, a quick update on the <clears throat> power station. It's working great. Um, I've been using it to charge small uh, electronics and the computer, and everything so far seems to be working really good. I haven't really load tested it that much yet. Um, I've used the solar panels to trickle charge the battery, and um, so I'm letting it drop down to 50% and then I will be charging it up again. I will do a review video uh, in the coming weeks just to kind of go over how things are doing, what things I've been able to power and whatnot. I'm trying to keep uh, the limit down to about four to 600 watts. So um, I will let you know what kinds of things I am finding that we're able to power that. I can power things up to 800 watts. Um, I just don't want to exceed 800 watts. So we'll go through that with the upcoming video. Uh, now to the meat and potatoes of this uh, video. So some of you that follow on Instagram may have seen a story post that I made. Um, so the cat's out of the bag. Um, the big surprise is that we're making some changes to uh, commuting and I have been looking at different types of uh, methods to commute to and from work uh, and I decided that I was going to get into a electric uh, longboard, um, specifically all terrain board. It's kind of a crossover between a street board and a mountain board. Uh, just been trying to find something that was going to be good for, uh, you know, Alaska. <clears throat> we have dirt roads, we have paved roads, we have, there are quite a few um, paved pathways and stuff. Um, they're still working on the network of paved pathways. Uh, so, but my commute's going to be a mixture of dirt and a little bit off-road riding along with asphalt and so I needed something I, I needed something more than just an electric uh, street board so I've been looking at a couple different things I found a company right now um, I did mention in the post the company's name and some frustrations and I shared emails um, I did tag them in it they did see it they are aware um, I am waiting a, finally, a reply as far as what our final decision is. Um, anyway, long story short with the whole thing, I found a company, found a board that I really liked. Um, all the specs seemed like they would work. Um, distance for me from home to work is 7.6 miles. Uh, I should be able to get uh, 15 to 18 miles on one charge for this board. If I end up getting it, we will see how the real life uh, range is. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so I made an order about three weeks ago. I got an email from the company telling me that I needed to pay a um, remote shipping fee. So we exchanged some emails. Um, I sent them 
screenshots of their screenshots and links to their own website showing that there is nothing even remotely close to saying you know there was no information on those fees and uh the one of the biggest reasons i went with them besides the the board and the specs was that they advertise free shipping to uh us you know living in alaska i've lived here long enough i know uh that a lot of times that's not the case so you've got to read the small print you've got to look real hard through these uh companies um websites and so i did i did my research on it um didn't find anything went to fill out all the checkout stuff because a lot of times it'll pop up you put in your address and it'll pop up and say um you you owe x amount for shipping so i did that nothing like that and i was like oh, okay cool seems legit seems like it's free shipping they ship international um you know, they have hubs in Europe, China, Australia. It's a company out of, out of Australia. And uh, here in the U.S., they had several several hubs. And so I figured, oh, okay, they, they'll just send them from, I think they have like an L.A. hub or something like that. They'll send it from the U.S. hub, so it shouldn't, they sh shouldn't have any problems if they're set up to, to send it national. Uh, so I just went on waiting. Um, come to find out their shipments come from China so they kind of ship they kind of ship things out on uh, shipments from China and that's kind of what takes so long uh, anyway after three weeks they sent me an email and explained to me that I need to pay this extra fee it's $120 not a huge amount but still the fact that it's nowhere on their site explaining that I was frustrated Exchange, exchange some emails. Honestly, the emails are fairly, you know, they're straight, forward, and blunt, but per, still professional. Basically, told the lady, I says, Look, you, I see you guys aren't going to work with me, so if that's the case, I want to just go ahead and cancel my order. Uh, there's another company that's willing to work with me for the same price to match your the price of your board and um, at the same time I'll be filing a complaint and um, I will be passing on the word since that email I have not received anything back so this was Thursday I uh, went through Friday um, in some places so some companies have Friday was a holiday so I am giving them till mid next week to see if uh, they answer back with the email um, and then we'll go from there uh, you know I'm not asking for I'm not asking to get the board for free um, you know just for them to acknowledge that they made an error and to try to remedy it um, even if they just discounted the shipping um, and then made the changes on the website. That's, you know, just to acknowledge that they were in the wrong and, you know, by even giving me discount or something like that, working with me somehow uh, to try and make this right, you know, that could completely turn this around. But it, I've been super frustrated because they're not willing to do either one. And I know that they've got to have shipping charges. And I know, you know, I even told the lady straight up. I says, look, if I would have known about the shipping charge beforehand, I would have either budgeted for it or decided not to buy from you guys. And uh, anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, the plan is still to get a board. I am looking at several different companies. I've reached out to several different companies, um, most of which actually do have on their website that they either don't ship to Alaska or the extra charges um, will be um, charged 
for shipping to Alaska, which is totally understandable. Uh, we're in a, just a weird position here in Alaska and shipping just sucks. Um, and especially with stuff like this, it's going to suck. But some of these international companies have the um, network available to provide free shipping and to most areas. So it is possible to ship to Alaska for free. Um, generally what ends up happening is you pay a little bit more uh, for the item itself. So uh, we're, I'm working with, uh, I'm, I've put out some feelers and uh, trying to get some contacts with some other companies. Um, I have gotten some responses back. So I've been, uh, I've been whittling down my list. I do have a pretty good idea of a board that I really want. And if I can work it out with the, the company, or, you know, if they can get back to me and say, yeah, we, we ship to Alaska, but it's going to be X amount. Um, I'm going to make it work because I actually found a better board. I found two better, two better boards, uh, costs a little bit more, but it's still fairly close to my, uh, my budget and honestly one of these two boards is going to be better for the conditions and stuff up here uh so i'm not gonna give too much information out on that we're gonna go from here and figure out what's going to go on i may end up with the same board that i ordered and and go from there or i may end up with another one um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to throw the company's name out. Some of you already saw and everything. Um, I did, you know, I have kept with my word so far. I'm not going to file a complaint quite yet until, um, until I get a final word. But so far they haven't worked with me. So I'm hoping that putting a little bit of pressure on them um, will help. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, it is what it is, and I'll move on from there. But that's where we're at. I was super, super excited for this. And, uh, you know, maybe others are kind of think it's dumb. Maybe others don't. I thought it was kind of a cool thing for the channel. Um, it does, some may think it doesn't wrap into the Wilson life, but actually it does. Um, because I were figuring out how to get around some of these um, these cost increases and try to do things um, save by saving money and you know I built I built the power station uh, one of the biggest reasons I built the power station so that I can collect solar power is so that I could charge this board up uh, and it would be emissions free it'd be you know, I'd be using little to no uh, fossil fuels and my imprint would be super, super small. So, you know, that's part of becoming self-sufficient and being able to uh, figure out how to pilot through some of these times we're in. So, yeah, in a sense, it does really fit in with the Wilson life. Um, it did take some convincing with Jackie because um, she was seen as it was a toy and, you know, just another just another toy that I wanted, which, yeah, that's I won't it, you know, I won't lie. I'll admit that's part of it. But I feel like this was an investment in I and I did the math and everything. And if we if we reach even five dollars a gallon, which we are just under five dollars a gallon if we reach that five dollars a gallon um between the two vehicles the board will have paid for itself by september um september between september and november the board will have paid for itself uh as far as investment goes uh versus gasoline uh so i feel like and that's just this year um, that's not including, you know, so I, it will have paid for itself within the year. So I felt like it was a good investment. I'm super excited because um, it, I think it's going to be fun. Um, and there's going to be more to it. Uh, but I figured it would also bring some cool content for you guys to be able to watch and see. So 
I'm just jibber jabbering now, so I'm going to uh, go. But I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. A happy Easter, by the way. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video. Music